Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we will be discussing resistors in series and resistors in parallel. So let us begin. So let us begin with three resistors in series. Let's say this is the first resistor R1, this is the second resistor R2 and this is the third resistor R3 and they are connected in series. Now simultaneously let me also show you three resistors in parallel okay so let's say that this is the first resistor R1 this is the second resistor R2 and this is the third resistor R3 now let us also connect a cell which will supply the potential difference through a plug key to the circuit and let us also have an ammeter over here to measure the amount of current which is passing through the circuit. Similarly over here we will be having an ammeter to measure the current, a cell to supply potential difference and a plug key to control the circuit as and when required. Now this is the positive terminal and negative terminal of battery and similarly positive and negative of ammeter are connected accordingly. Now the moment we will insert the plug key over here the cell will start supplying the current and let's say the current will start flowing from this terminal and it will go through the R1, R2 and R3 and will come back to the cell. Now let's say that uh, this ammeter records a reading of I amperes which is passing through this circuit. Now if you will see carefully this I will pass through R1, R2, R3 and come back to the cell. That means the currents passing through the R1, R2 and R3 are same. So if I am saying that let's say I1, I2, I3 are the currents passing through the three resistors, so I can say that they all are same to the original current I. So I can simply say here that I is equal to I1 which is equal to I2 which is equal to I3. Now let us see what is the case over here. The moment we insert the plug key over here, so the cell will start supplying the current and let's say the cell is supplying a current of I amperes over here. The moment the current will approach at this point, now it will get divided into three parts. Some of the current will pass through the resistor 1, so let us name it as I1. Some of the current will pass through R2, let us name it I2 and some of the current will pass through R3, so let us name it I3. Okay. Now what will happen when all the currents will come over here so they will accumulate and they will be again be equal to i over here so i can say that this i is getting split into three parts i1 i2 and i3 and being uh, joined or combined at this point so at this point i can say that uh, here we are having i is sum of the three currents so i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 now let us move ahead to find out the potential difference across the first resistor r1 in resistor in series so to find the potential difference across r1 i'll have to connect a voltmeter across r1 okay so let's say that this voltmeter will give me the reading v1 across R1. I'll also have to connect a voltmeter across the second resistor which is R2. So let's say this voltmeter will give us the potential difference across R2 and similarly we have to go ahead with the potential to find the potential difference across R3. So let's say that this is the potential difference across R3. Now as the resistors are connected between different points these voltmeters would be showing different readings. Let us also find what is the potential difference across the combined 
circuit of series so we'll have to connect a voltmeter across the combination as well so let's say that this voltmeter would be measuring the combined potential difference across the three resistors and this potential difference would be equal to the sum of potential difference across the individual resistors so i can say that v the total potential difference across the three resistors is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 now what about the potential difference across r1 r2 and r3 as you can see that r1 r2 and r3 they all are connected between the same points so to measure the potential difference across either of the resistor of or all the resistors we have to connect the voltmeter across these two points only now this voltmeter will give us the potential difference across r1 across r2 across r3 and also across the combined circuit so all those potential difference would be same let's say v1 v2 and v3 are the potential differences across r1 r2 and r3 and that would be equal to the v which is the total potential difference across the circuit so here i can say that v is equal to v1 which is equal to v2 and which is equal to v3 now these are the major point of differences across resistors in series and parallel now let us move ahead at this point of time i would like to mention the ohm's law which states that v is equal to ir or I, it can also be restated as v by r is equal to i now we'll be needing this okay now for the derivation look at this v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 so v which is the total potential difference that would be equal to i r so i would be the total current but what would be r so r would be the total resistance of the combined circuit of r1 r2 and r3 let me name it as r s which will stand for resistance in series so v will be equal to i r s v1 would be equal to i r1 v2 would be equal to i r2 and v3 would be equal to i r3 now it can be written as i r s is equal to i would be common and we would be having r1 plus r2 plus r3 so i would get cancelled out and we would be having r s is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is the equation for resistors in series now let us move ahead with our resistors in parallel here the i which is the total current it would be equal to v by r so v would be the total potential difference and what would be r r would be the total resistor due to the combination of all these three resistors in parallel let me name it as rp so i would be written as v by r p i1 that is current across r1 it would be written as v by r1 i2 would be v by r2 and i3 would be v by r3 now here v by r p is equal to v would be common and here would be we would be having 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 now we will get cancelled out and we would be having the final equation for resistors in parallel that is 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so these were the explanations and derivations of resistors in series and resistors in parallel thank you very much